Hello viewers, welcome to part two of our press conference with Kazanori. The first part was quite insightful. Uh, let's see what the man had to say. Generally, in my experience, uh, sport needs a referee. So how do you intend to fairly referee that high profile esports? So for the, uh, the daily online races, uh, there's going to be a adjustment system or the, the system itself will be judging the acts of the players. But a system can't always make the judgments that a, 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 a human being can. So say you had a, a, a crash in, at one corner, so who was at fault? And if it was a human being, you, you can actually make the judgment call. But when it's a, when it's a computerized system, no matter how much uh, physics information you have, um, it's really hard to judge uh, or make the judgment uh, who was at fault. And in that case, uh, you really have to uh, make it so that uh, both are actually at fault for the incident. So what that entails is that uh, a player's uh, sportsmanship rating will drop. So you know, both sides will try to avoid incidents like that. And on the other hand, in, in instances like the, uh, the championships where you have the regional finals or the world final, uh, we will actually have a human being uh, actually serving as a steward for the race uh, and monitoring everything. Yeah, and in terms of the, the world final, uh, Mr. Charlie Whiting, I think, will be the deserve for the race. Uh, I mean, really, that's, that's what we, we have planned. Well, that was my follow-up question, which was, will you work with the FIA World Stewards in the race of driving? Do you work with them? That's right. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, working with the FIA, uh, are we going to see an expansion of open wheel racing? Uh, I won't deny it because uh, we've had open wheel cars in the game before, uh, but I, I don't think it, it would be something that would be available at launch. One of the uh, manufacturers that was conspicuous in its appearance in your original GT Sport trailer was Porsche, there were 917s uh, around that. I understand the licensing around Porsche has relaxed somewhat in, uh, in the last year or so. Will you have Porsche in the game? It's good news to hear that uh, their license situation. For us, um, you know, we always want Porsche to be part of the game at one point. We've always wanted them, you know, to be a part of the game. The rest is really up to Porsche's decision to uh, to do that or not. So, so the, the FIA um, backed uh, competitions, the Nations Cup, the manufacturer of Bank Cup. Um, are these could these be seen as a as a kind of replacement for the Nissan GT Academy or a complement to them? So, uh, the Nissan GT Academy, um, the objectives are pretty clear for that project. Um, you know, that's in you know, converting a, a virtual gamer to a, a real-life driver. You know, that's what the project is about. So, it's, it's, um, so the you know, Nations Cup Manufacturer's Fan Cup is not a direct replacement of that. Yeah, so, I, I think the GT Academy program is actually going to continue. あの、あの、あの、プレイステーションネオっていうのは対応するんですかいや、そういう噂があることは聞いてるんですけれども、僕はわからない。Yeah, I know there's a rumor going around about it, but um, I don't know about it, so I can't even really say either which way. Okay, so um, Gran Turismo uh, originally started out to be Gran Turismo Sport originally started out to be uh, made to be compatible with VR. So I, I do believe at the time of launch uh, we will be compatible with VR. And I know that uh, you know, racing games uh, is a very good match for VR. And in the past, uh, we've already been uh, compatible with 3D TVs, and, we, and GT6 was actually compatible with Oculus. So we have experience in doing that kind of development already. And so I think uh, it's possible that uh, you know, uh, Gran Turismo Sport will just VR for Gran Turismo Sport will be another form of output that would be uh, you know, standardly supported. And so a competition using uh, that uh, would naturally be possible. One thing that Gran Turismo fans have wanted for a while now is the livery editor. Can you tell me uh, how that's going to work? 
あのえっとですね。So there's going to be two features to that. 一つはまああのビデオの中に入ってますけれども。So one is as you saw in the in the、uh, in the trailer,、uh, where you take uh, uh, stickers that are registered in a sticker library and project them onto the cars. And the other is a feature in which you actually make the sticker library yourself. So I think、uh, there's there's going to be a division between the the two. Obviously, you've、uh, raced in endurance races and the twenty four hour races featured in. In the game,、uh, one of the great things about races like the Nemo Ring 24 Hours, the huge field of cars. Are you? What, what's the sort of maximum field you're looking at? Are you are looking to increase that over GT6? I want to. Right now we have 20. アーケードモードが20台ですけど、yeah, mode, uh, yeah, so うん、そうですね。Yeah. So and your green is like 160 or more. So、um, yeah, we'll see if we can yeah make it that far. いつか実現したい。Yeah, one day we'd like to get there. Good luck. Yeah, but everyone takes、uh, you know, pictures off of their smartphones now. But you know, as I explained in the presentation, when you actually try to take pictures of real life cars, it's actually very difficult. And I think when you really, really simplify it so that it's easier to do,、uh, I think people will start discovering how fun it is to take photographs again. Yeah, photo mode actually is、uh, has has been one of the more popular features of Grand Prix. Can I ask?、Uh, in the last game, you had、um, uh, customizable crash helmets and Senna suits. So it's two two parts of this question. First of all, is did that work? Will you still focus on specific hero drivers? And part two is, will you be able to customize your own crash helmets and your own kit? I guess first off,、um, you know, collaborations with hero drivers like that is probably something that will happen. And in regards to the the helmet and suit customization,、uh, of course, it's something that we will、uh, have again.、Um, there's, there's lots of references to、uh, to Gran Turismo One in your presentation earlier.、Um, a lot of us older gamers will remember that one of the joys of Gran Turismo was. Starting out in a really terrible old car, and learning to love old cars like that, like a thirty-year-old Toyota Supra or a twenty-year-old Honda Civic, there doesn't seem to be a place for that in, in GT Sport. Is that something that's going to be coming in a, in a future game? Ah, no, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Yeah, but you know, to, but to add to that,、um, you know, the times have changed since、uh, you know, 20 years ago in gaming, and you know, back then it was possible to you know to set up a game that you know, took hundreds of hours to play, where you you, know, you step up a little bit at a time.、Uh, but nowadays, you know, it's not so easy to make a game with that kind of you know, slow progress.、Um, you know, we need to get, design the games、uh, with a little bit you know, better tempo. PS3 というのは、まあ今覚えばですね、悪夢のようだったんですね。So you know, PS3, you know, looking back on it now, was really a nightmare. <笑>これは本当にそうです。Really, seriously. <笑>で、ものすごくストレスが溜まったし、yeah. Yeah, it was very stressful. で、かつやっぱりやりたいことができなかった。And at the same time, it didn't allow us to do a lot of things that we wanted to do. Yeah, but you know, for on the PlayStation 4, it's actually really fun to develop you know, Gran Turismo Sport for. Hmm. だからなんて言うんでしょうね。あの僕もチームもそうなんですけれども、やっぱり毎日毎日。For myself and the team as well, you know, every day when there's a you know there's a small advancement and achievement we we make in the development,、uh, you know, it brings us joy. And it's、um, that kind of feel is something that I, ha I haven't felt since、uh, since Grand Turismo One. So, in the past, in previous Grand Turismo games, you replicated real-life racing series. 
obviously you're trying to create something that is its own racing series, but uh, you know, similar to sort of the WRC content and NASCAR content, would you consider replicating <coughs> real championships? Uh, I, I figure the WEC seems, would seem like a pretty good place to start with like, multi-class racing and, and you know, your interest in the Mon as well, which is obvious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something that uh, we can't really uh, talk about it yet, uh, but that's something that we definitely would like to co incorporate into the game. So some answers to some of the questions some of you may have. No doubt there are many questions that weren't answered at this stage, some that probably couldn't even get an answer at this stage as well. We're likely to learn more about the game at E3 and see how it progresses based on some of the feedback that they've received recently as well. I do look forward to, to seeing how it progresses. But after this, we're going to look at some of the gameplay. And in the next few days, I'll also have a full roundup of everything we've seen so far, as well as uh, you know, if reflections and feedback uh, on the trailer uh, and some of the other content as well. But that's it from me for now. As ever, more soon.